go. Hello everyone, this is Versus Chino, bringing you guys a dual commentary with Bolts, aka the Shotgun Master, and uh, we're going to be talking about some uh, tips and tricks about shotguns, and I decided it would be best to contact Volts because he just, uh, you know, his channel, he uploads a lot of shotgun gameplay, and he's really, really good. He has, like, the gold and diamond camos and whatnot, so, uh... Oh, I just died. All right. We'll start Hello. off. So, introduce, you can introduce yourself, uh, Volts. I'm Volts, or Zingali5, whatever you guys want to call me. And, uh, yeah, what's up? So I guess the first question I was going to ask, and that's probably pretty obvious, what is the best shotgun in this game? I would have to go with the R870 for various reasons. So it's a, it's a pump-action shotgun, I know. And yes. Uh, well, it's, it's very versatile in the fact that the spread is so well that you never yeah. really have to aim down the sights, but it's always uh -huh. a good thing, like, at long range to aim down the sights. Yeah, sure. But I wouldn't really do it all the time. So how would how would it be not as good? I mean, how would the KSG be not as good as the uh, R870? Well, the KSG is a great gun. It's just there's no spread. All it shoots is a single slug. Yeah. So, so the it's fact not that really... it shoots a single shot. Yeah. Yeah. Know. So if you miss your shot, you're pretty much dead. With the R870, you know, you shoot to the right, you can still get a hit marker and at least almost. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh I suck. There we go. Okay. And almost. Killed. Yeah, that's that's understandable. Definitely. And so, how about the, uh, those other guns there? The, uh... Uh... Yeah. Those, se those semi-automatic and automatic shotguns, how are they? Uh, the Sega. The Sega is a very, I guess, not controversial, but not one of the best guns. Yeah. I like it in the fact that it's fun to shoot, but uh -huh. it's also wet, long-range, kind of terrible. Uh -huh. You never, ever really want to use it at long-range. Yeah. But with the uh, M1216, the fully automatic four-round burst shotgun, again, no long range, but it's also one, my second favorite shotgun in the whole game, just because of the fact that you can shoot so fast and you can get so many kills in that short amount of time yeah. in a wide spread range. Yeah, it's like, it's a peculiar gun because it's the four-round four burst type of thing, type of thing going yeah. on there. I really That's like that. It's like an A12, but yeah. better. A lot, a lot better. So my next play style uh, question, excuse me, would be like, what what is your play style with shotguns? Because I know that shotguns are kind of different in this game, and they have, they have been in the past Call of Duty. So what is your ideal way to approach the game? Okay, so you're gonna have to use a lot of rushing tactics because camping with a shotgun is never really advisory. I mean, I would camp, like say I'm reloading, like an M1216, because yeah. the reload takes so long. But like. Regular, I always rush, and I play kind of uh, aggressive, really. I want to get that kill. Mm -hmm. so what and, would be, uh, like, the best game mode to hop into? To uh, get just get kills, I'd have to go with um, uh, Headquarters. Headquarters, it, it's a long, long time you have to get the yeah. kills, and there's usually a lot of people mounted up in one place trying to get one objective. So you can either flank them and get a bunch of kills from behind, or you can either go in front and try and get a bunch of kills. Yeah. At a close range, mostly, because everybody's rushing. Interesting. And so I guess, as you talk about the game mode, that would probably be the best way to uh, get your gold gun, right? I'd have to go with the best way to get gold. Now, it depends what really what shotgun you're using. Now, hardcore is always an ideal choice of getting one-shot kills. Oh, because, really? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, I, um, I understand where you're coming from there. But the only problem with Hardcore I had when the game first came out was that there was spawn time, and there was no game modes that didn't include spawn time. Yeah. But now they added Hardcore Kill Confirmed, which has no spawn time at all, and it makes it a really ideal game pl uh, game type to get uh, mm -hmm. gold for shotguns that aren't long range, such as the KSG or the R870. Well, I was actually not expecting that. I, just, I always kind of discarded Hardcore, but in Black Ops 2 they kind of made it much more... Uh, more of a you know an ideal choice while while deciding what what you're gonna play. Yeah, definitely. And so like, what perks would you run? How would your uh, create a class work out? Lightweight, like I said earlier, my game tile type is a lot of rushing, so lightweight is always the best thing for rushing. Um, I wouldn't yeah. really use dexterity because again, shotguns aren't really the best for ADS. I mean, I do mm -hmm. aim down the sights, but 
I wouldn't use dexterity. I would more likely use a uh, tactical mask because people yeah. spam equipment in this game, and it really pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. And tactical and mask. Uh, yeah. For my second perk, I always second perk toughness or scavenger. It depends what shotgun you're using. With the R870 or the KSG, you really don't need more ammo because it usually comes with a heaping load of ammo. But say uh -huh. like you're using uh, the M1216 or the Sega, you're probably gonna run out of ammo pretty fast. So I recommend scavenger on those guns. Yeah. Oh. So how about oh. attachments? I'm sure like the 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 laser is pretty obvious. It depends really what gun, because when I first started out using shotguns in this game, I put same attachments on every single shotgun, which yeah. really didn't work out for me. Uh, I started to mix it up a little bit after a while, and it seems like with the R870, you don't really need uh, laser as much, because huh. it has that dense spread while you're yeah. um, hip firing, but it also has that really tight spread while you're um, aiming down the sight. Yeah. For the M1216 of the Sega... Those are guns where I usually never, ever aim down the sight with unless I'm extremely close range and they're, like, not moving or looking at me just so I can get, like, a headshot or something. But yeah. those are guns you really want to have laser with. Interesting. Wow. So, the the laser, de it depends kind of on what shotgun you're using at the time. And, wait, do you recommend putting, like, a sight on your gun? Mm, not at all, really. Iron sights on shotguns are usually really nice and big. And so you never yeah. really have to rely on that aim. Maybe the uh, millimeter scanner, if you're into that kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't really like the millimeter scanner, but if you do good with it, of course, use it. I wouldn't really recommend it, though. Yeah, because I remember um, I really like the sights on the KSG. The... Actually, that brings up a point. Thank you for uh, telling me that. KSG, yes, sights. A uh, red dot sight probably would be the best for that gun. Because yeah. uh, I have done very well with it without a sight. But red dot sight probably. A red dot sight's really helpful. Yes. Yeah, that's that's an interesting thing. So like, sights can vary, and the laser sight on like what gun you're using at the time. It's yes. actually really really interesting. So like, they don't all behave the same. Cause I remember in Black Ops One, the, the iron sights were perfect, absolutely perfect for like all the assault rifles. And I I agree no really totally. No real good reason, but this time they're kind of switchy up there. And Ooh. so, how about equipment? Uh, no, it depends whether, again, what shotgun you're using. But usually, yeah. it de uh, usually when I'm using like an R870, I don't choose equipment because I like that third attachment. And so oh, okay, it, okay, yeah. It really uses up. Uh, right now, I have my equipment on because I haven't unlocked primary gunfire yet because I just prestige recently. But I would recommend having primary gunfighter on probably all your shotgun classes and sacrificing like your equipment or your sidearm because usually yeah. when I'm using my shotgun I never really pull out my sidearm unless I'm having fun. Like, like so that. wait, if you were to have a, a sidearm, what, what would you like put on? Uh, no, one of my favorite sidearms would have to be the Cat 40 just because it's so fast and it's so strong for being such a Yeah, that really pistol. powerful, because I guess you're always going to be in close range with those shotguns, so like having that extra damage there would actually yeah. be really helpful. But I've recently been using the TAC-45, and I have to say it's a really good pistol, a lot yeah. better than I thought it would be. It's usually like a three-shot kill, which I'm very surprised with. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it really helps, because uh, I remember Drifter did a video about it there. Uh, he really, he really liked using that that gun. Man. And so the best way. So we already talked about the best way to get gold in game mode. So, tell us about how much time it may take to get to get gold or something like that. Well, if you really like, when I first started getting gold, I didn't really know which game modes. And once I got gold on all of them, I figured out which ones were better. Yeah. But when you're starting off, I recommend doing the guns you get gold with first, the easiest ones first, uh, just to get them out of the way. And for, like, the M1, 2, and 6 in the Sega, hardcore or, like, bonus chaos mosh pit game modes are always good because they're small maps. But out of anything, really, I suggest hardcore to get gold. All right, that's awesome. Thank you, Volts, for joining us here today in, in the uh, the video about play styles about the shotguns and how how you should use them what attachments game modes and uh we actually learned a lot uh thank you for joining us because i did had no idea that 
hardcore would be such a useful uh, game type. And um, no everyone, you go you should go check out Volta's channel. He has almost a hundred subscribers, so congratulations to him. He has a lot of uh, cool game plays with the R870 and all the other shotguns. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can wrap this up, Volts. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, go check out Burst Chino's channel if you are not already on it. And I'll talk to you guys later.